as we prepare for our tritium this week with Monday, Thursday, Good Friday, and Easter Vigil, I want to encourage you to come out and to enjoy some time of meditation here at the cross in our Forest of Faith or else along our prayer trail. And I'm going to share with you a little bit from our last few weekends of work just what has uh, been accomplished and what is uh, inviting you to come out and just spend some time in God's beautiful creation. The cross, of course, is the central uh, focus of our place out here, for it's on the cross that our Lord suffered and died for us, to merit us his forgiveness, forgiveness from God's wrath, forgiveness of our sins, and giving us victory of life from the grave. So come on out here, enjoy our nice worship area that we have, and join us on Sunday morning at 6.30 as we have our sunrise service. But in the next few days, if you come here to Galilee for Monday Thursday services at noon or at seven, especially at noon, maybe as we leave our service in silence after the altar has been stripped, come out here and do a little walk through the prayer trail. There are now, thanks to donations by the Elder Mel and from Gordon and Jacob and many of us who are out here, there are nice benches to come out, to sit, to recline, and to enjoy the creation that God has given to us. I'll take you on a little stroll. We have some new wood chips out here, it looks like. But we also have provided path guides with all the fallen logs that have come down in order to provide a, a better sense of where the trail is. Beautiful flowers that bloom in the spring. This will be one of our newer bypass trails when we're able to get that cleared out. Um, prayers as the emergency personnel are heading out for a call. Whoever they're going, they might be safe. Oh, and three deer out here. Four, five, six deer out here. I didn't mean to stir them up. Well, not only do we enjoy God's creation, but the deer definitely enjoy it out here as well. So as I was mentioning, we have a few benches to come out to recline or relax on as you are out here in God's creation, coming around to our overlook. You can see with the trail markers now, the trail is much more easy to see. It is fairly wide. So for the little ones in our preschool to come out and walk and enjoy it. And we still have some work to do. As you can see, there's no wood on the left, not enough fallen trees we can find to carry around, but we definitely have them on the right. As we get here to the overlook, another one of our benches that was provided through the wonderful donation of our elder Mel. Come out and sit and enjoy the freshwater pond here. The view from the bench, a nice place to come and sit and enjoy. And then the little path that goes back to our worship and altar area here. So you come down this little hill, it uh, <laughs> needs a little more of the uh, path guide markers, but it's all mulched and uh, leaves it down to help us. A nice little scenery area down here for Bible study or for just meditation next to the water's edge. Looks like some animals, some deer have been going through here. Also some children. Let's find a little plastic rubber ball down here. And as you get to this area, you can see another bench provided, another place to sit and just to enjoy God's beautiful creation. This area will be cleared out a little better with mulch and with markers so we can have a nice little sitting area. As you can see, the cross in the worship area is right up there. But going back to our path, as we have now a few more offshoots, little areas to travel. So if you have little ones with you or big ones, you can make this trail pretty easy. Only a couple steep hills. One of them is to come down this lower area here. 
and of course on the other side. Yeah, looks like we need a little bit of mulch in here. Some of the underground bush, brush and the uh, weeds are coming through. So after Easter, we'll do another little workout here. Here's our bench again, overlooking the pond. And this is the part of our trail that is probably the least marked because very few fallen trees here. <laughs> we try to work with what we have, what God provides even though it's clear for us who have laid it out with the leaves down and the mulch covered it's hard to see how this little s snake here part of our trail comes around and then you get back to the markers again Back to the primary way here. It's the way we came in. And heading up this way, we have another one of our benches in order to sit, relax, and look. And I'll show you the view from up here as well. Again, thank you to Gordon and Jacob, who spent a lot of time while we were hauling logs and cutting fallen trees and building these. And the views around the property here are just beautiful. As you come to this one here, again, being able to look down over the uh, pond and the marsh back here. So many birds, so many bald eagles. The trail continues a bit that way. We're gonna go this way to share a little bit of the new area that we had made an area that's supposed to hopefully be beneficial and useful for scouting group groups or troops. As you can see, the uh, path is lined very nicely with logs so you know where you're going. No getting lost or into the brush. But out here to our left, is a nice flat area where there might be some deer again. We'll see. Following the trail of logs, the path markers. We have a large area here, large flat area that can be used for hopefully a camp out or the like. From the back side of it, you can see over there the side, very large area. And then back out to where the logs are to remind us where our trail is. And then back around. There's no sirens, it's pretty quiet out here except for the geese. You can see the logs that guide you drill through here. Another suggestion might be if it's not Monday, Thursday, but our Good Friday, we have a noon and a seven o'clock service. The seven o'clock service will end in darkness where we will go home that night in darkness, in silence. The noon service, should be over by about 12.30, 12.45. And as I mentioned in one of our Lenten services, there used to be a tradition of just taking some time of silence, time away, time of being quiet, and seeing how challenging that is. As our Lord himself had three hours upon the cross in darkness, maybe you just come out here to the forced faith, find a bench, bring your Bible, and just sit. And as your mind gets wandering then just open the bible and see what maybe passage the lord is leading you to refocus you 
Isaiah 53 is always a, a good one to come back to as we're considering our Lord on the cross, what he endured. But you might also look at, as we have our readings this week, Mark, his gospel, or even John's gospel, as we consider what our Lord went through. And as you can see now, we're coming up on another bench. This other bench is right up here on the trails that connect our escape path, if we need, for our preschool to our fire station, but also a nice place to be able to be and sit and just enjoy the creation that's around us. Now, as the spring comes and everything starts taking bloom again, this will all green up and you won't be able to see much except for the beautiful trees and it'll be much quieter back here as well. But while the leaves are down and the trees have not bloomed, you can still get a sense of just how large and beautiful this place is. So whether it's on tomorrow, Thursday, Monday, Thursday, after services, before services, come out and just have some quiet time in our forest of faith. We like to go sit in the worship area and before the cross, a time of meditation, communion with our Lord. If it's Friday, then come out here on Good Friday, before or after service, to have just a time of quiet meditation, set aside the rest of the things of life in this world and just kind of focus on our Savior. And then, if you like to, on Saturday, we're having our Easter egg hunts here. 10 a.m., we'll have a whole bunch of children who will be finding eggs in our playground, as well as around our facilities. This is the new trail that we're going to be building and putting in, thanks to uh, our, our tree men who came and took down some of the dead and dying trees and the ones that were dangerous here for our playground. And after, the play, after egg hunts, stay and enjoy your time just in hiking with your kids after the egg hunt is over, helping them to see a beautiful creation. And also, you can then come back that evening if you like. It's kind of our Easter vigil to think about how our Lord suffered and died and gave his life for us. And then as I mentioned, we're going to be beginning at 6 in the morning on Easter Sunday with a sunrise service. Join us for the service and stay for coffees and bagel, uh, bagels and coffee, sorry, at about 7.15, 7.30. We'll have our worship service with the choirs and bell choir at 8. Our Easter brunch at 9.15. And then we'll have our celebration joy service at 10.30, 10.45, sorry. Well, have a wonderful day in the Lord. Praise him for all his blessings, especially our new the decorated garden out here and grass that is growing. God bless you and aloha.